What's good, family? So, mash the like button, subscribe, and lick off the bell. So, it's all kicking off right now between your mans, David Bomavides Jr. and Caleb Plantpot. Some serious beefing. Now, essentially, it started off some next Caleb Plant trailer trash man fan tweeted Caleb Plantpot saying, Yo. What do you think about you versus Bomavides in 2022? Who wins and how? Caleb Plantpot comes through and says, Listen, that big round, soft looking ass, no, not a lick of discipline, can't make weight have an ass, ain't gonna do nothing. He can't do an F with me. Now, obviously, David Bomavides saw this post and he fired back and said, This round boy will knock your BS out cold. Worse than Canelo, sweetheart. Damn. <laughs> Listen, I like this. I'm there for all of it. Oh yeah, and before, you know what, before we go on and I give my thoughts on this quick time, it also escalated. There was another post put out and essentially on the back of this, there's now rumours leaked by Michael Benson that David Bombavides and Caleb Plantpot is now officially somewhat in the works for a potential fight in September, according to Benavides's father and trainer Jose Senior. Now, we know Benavides is due to fight some random bum called David Libum <laughs> in May, and I believe, well, I'm sure. When did Plant Pot? Yep, yeah, I think Can Canelo and Plant Pot they fought in. When was it? I think it was October? They fought, and he's got a six-month ban. Because of how hard his wig got pushed back. Yeah. Canelo pushed Plant Pot's wig so far back. He banned for six months. Which means. I mean I was kind of pissed. I can't lie. I was kind of pissed that. Bomavides is fighting David Limu. David Limu ain't no good. He been. Listen. He been no good. Yeah. He got knocked out by Triple G spot. By a jab. Way back when. In 2014 I think it was. He been no good. What is going on? How could a man who was no good eight years ago be still in the mix? With so and what gets me is it, all the people, all the so-called David Bomavides fans talking about oh, Canelo ducking, Canelo ducking, Canelo ducking. Yeah, let's get something straight here. Canelo, don't even fight people like David Libum. Yeah, do you understand that? David Limu, Canelo don't even fight them guys. So if I, wait a minute, Canelo, the man who's going up. Two weight divisions to fight the bad man at 175. You're telling me stuck in the dude who's fighting left who's fighting Triple G's leftovers from eight years ago. Get serious. S bottom line, get serious here. Yeah, I'm sick of all the hype behind David Bomavides. The, 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 the bottom line, the Lem the Lemu fight shouldn't even be happening. Let's get something straight here. PBC. Da David Le David Lemu. Sorry. David Bomavides has been PBC for a minute. So was Caleb Plantpot. Why is it Canelo, who's someone who's off platform, was able... How is he able to fill in all these dudes? All these so-called... Don't forget, people. Before Canelo took Plant's cheeks, they were saying, Oh, Canelo ducking trailer trash. Canelo scared of the trailer trash. Yeah? Oh, Canelo scared of Eminem wannabe. 100% that's what they were saying oh Canelo Canelo don't want to fight Eminem's wannabe that's what they were saying 100% what happened his wig came flying off and now they move on to the next one and what I don't get is why these guys ain't fighting each other things ban that's that I think that ends in April either way why is it because the thing is even though your ban is six months you can still do other things you can still train so I, I believe this fight Plant and Bomavides should have been booked for May. Why wasn't, why didn't it happen? Same as Poo Poo. All of a sudden, yeah. And this is a pretty standard tactic. When people have fights booked, they're making noise, they're woofing. For example, I did a video the other week. David Bomavides, all of a sudden, has started woofing about Demetrius Poo Poo Andrade. Yeah? And now he's woofing about Caleb Plantpot. And in fact, he's even wolfing about Canelo as well. But the point is, guess what? When David Lebum, sorry, when David Bomavides don't have no fight booked, you don't hear him say nothing. 
He got a fight booked. Now you're calling everyone out. Oh, I want, I want Demetrius. Oh, I want Plant. Oh, I want this guy. I want that guy. But yet you're fighting Libum. It don't. It, I'm sorry. It doesn't add up. And I'm sick of it. I'm sick of it. Why are you fronting for? I'd, I'd have a lot more respect here if people came out and said, "Listen, I'm a scary ass dude. I'm one of the scariest dudes, and I just want. I want to be known as the PBC bum slayer. I want to be known as the PBC leftover slayer. That's what you need to come out and admit. Because that's what you're doing." Oops, 100%. David David Bomavides' resume, all that shows is he is a leftovers bum slayer. He loved to fight leftovers. He loved to fight leftovers. He's not even fighting, for example, I'd call Caleb Plant his leftovers, but he Canelo leftovers. And he top flight, he's former world champion. Lee Bum, who he? <laughs> yeah, he, he a bum and he leftovers. He a bummy leftovers. Lee Bum wasn't even one of them guys who's in the mix. He just another guy. He any guy. Piss me off. But anyway, getting back to this part, I mean, again, this fight should have been booked for May. Rather than Bomavides versus Libum, it should be Benavides versus Plant Pot, aka Eminem. That's what it should be. Right now, in May. 100%. But I guess, well, allegedly, it's the thing I'm telling you, though. They're talking about, oh, September, they always do this. You never wondered that. You never wonder why it's always the next one. It's never the... Isn't it? You never wondered that. Oh, wait there. Why is it always got to be the next one? Why is it two Dons in the same camp? It's always the next one, isn't it? And do you know why it's always the next one? Because guess what? They can't talk about the present because they're always fighting bums. <laughs> and that's how they... That's how they reel the fans in, you know? This is all marketing for May 21st. Yeah? Bummer Vides versus David LeBum. That's what this is about. It's all about. They do it every time. And that's why I get pissed off, because every time we get all this promotion, oh yeah, I want Andre, oh yeah, I want Plant. And then the fight happens, and next thing you know, it goes all quiet, and then you'll hear about, oh, uh, uh, and then you'll hear about, um, um, then you'll hear about David, David Bumavides fighting some random name, and then he'll, he'll go back on again. Do you understand? So, guarantee, guarantee this year, Benavides will beat Libum. Yeah, Benavides will beat David Lebom in May. And then you ain't gonna hear nothing about no plant or no Andre. It's gonna go dead quiet. And then when he's about to book to fight some next bum, he'll start saying, Oh I couldn't, everyone ducking me, everyone ducking me. Then he'll say, Oh look, I've got to, I've got to fight this guy to stay busy because everyone ducked me. And then he'll lock in to fight a bum. But the question is, why aren't these guys it's the thing, you never hear these guys woofing about who they want when they haven't got a fight booked. This is a pretty, this is a standard tactic. It's well known. Scary dude's been doing this for for ages. It's a well known tactic. Yeah? Woof when you've got a fight booked. Because you can always say things like, well, I've got to stay, I got I don't want to focus on plant right now. Let me just focus on this fight on May 21st. Meaning, he wants to plug this fight. He's using names. He's using Canelo's leftover clout to try and boost up his crap fight. And no one trying to watch. Let me tell you this now, ain't no one trying to watch Bumavides. I had some goofy in my comment section the other day saying, Oh, you, you, you've got no credibility. How are you calling these great fighters bums? They're bums. Oops. <laughs> you don't hear me calling Canelo a bum. Oops. <laughs> yeah. Because <laughs> he gets what? He in there and he fighting the best time and time again. And I don't have a problem with losing. If you're in there fighting the best, you ain't a bum. Now, I call Caleb Plant Pot. I ain't calling call him a bum. Yeah. I ain't going <laughs> Yeah, bottom line. That's what we ain't called him. So, what you need to do is, I'm sick of the woofing as well. I'm sick of all the hype. I don't understand the hype. Don't hype people. If you don't want to be known as a bum yet, don't hype when you ain't done nothing. 100%. But apart from being a negative Nelly, I would like to see this fight. Yeah, I like the energy, or I like the Twitter energy anyway. These two men have Twitter energy. Now, to be fair to Plant, he's been a former world champion and he has fought Canelo. So we have to, he's not necessarily scared to go in there, but it does beg the question. Well, actually, no, tell I, I was about to say, why hasn't Plant fought any name yet? But it's not his job, really. He was a champion, in all, in all fairness. Benavidez was the random dude who didn't have no discipline, who couldn't make weight, and who, I don't know what he'd been doing all this time. He should have been calling for the fight, truth be known. Why wasn't he calling for that fight? Why wasn't he putting pressure? If I was these guys, yeah, I'd be literally campaigning for a good fight. If I wanted it. Which tells you they don't want it. 
Because I guess, like I said, why it begs the question here. Why didn't, why do we never hear about these guys campaigning to fight David LeBum? Do you understand what I'm saying? Like, for example, why is it when these guys, not just, not just Bumavides, but all of them, Charlo, all of them, you never hear them struggling to make a fight against a bum. You understand what I'm saying? It's mad, isn't it? You'd think, wait a minute, it's so difficult to make good fights. Why is it you, man, have no problem jumping into bum fights? You never hear about no contract disputes. It's like Dillian White. Dillian White has fought bums his whole career. Never had no problems. One minute he's in a big fight, he got problems all of a sudden. Yeah, D Dillian White been fighting Malcolm Tan on a on a undercard his own show for fifty grand. Had no problem doing it. He did it all day. Now we're getting ten mil from from Fury, and he got all the problems in the world. It don't make no sense. It don't make no sense at all. Yeah, these guys love fighting bums. They love to act hard, and I, f I believe it's something to do with the Adrian Broner effect. Yeah, no one wants to be like Adrian Broner was against Maidana. Look at that, everyone, most people saw what happened. Adrian Broner was broken. Yeah, that big overhand right broke Adrian Broner. He ain't never been the same since. It's called a spare spade here. And people saw that, and that, a lot, especially the PBC guys, and especially Al Heyman, Al Heyman saw how he lost a $50 million man. Now, Adrian Broner was never good enough to be a, a $500 million man, but Adrian Broner was a 50 to $100 million man, potentially. And that got wiped out. And ever since then, at old Heyman, yeah, old Heyman ain't been the same since. Ever since then, he just fight pure bums. His fighters fight all bums, 24-7, until they can beg for Canelo some more. Yeah? But on, anyway, again, let's stop being negative, Nelly. Will this happen in September? I'll believe it when I see it. I'll believe it when it's signed. Yeah, that's what I'll do. But the beef end, I like, people who know me know I like drama. And this drama, it doesn't do anything bad, does it? It doesn't get as farther away from the fight, I wouldn't have thought. Or well, who knows? <laughs> the way these zesty cats are in 2022, some of them even say, oh, he called me out. I remember when AJ was looking to fight Wilder. Wilder started saying, oh, I don't want to do a deal with Team AJ because they call me names. So you just never know, do you? For all we know, David, <laughs> for all we know, a few months from now, after David Bomavides has fought David LeBum, they're going to say, oh, we're not going to fight Plant because he called me a name. <laughs> Scary ass dudes. Meant to be fighters talking about name calling. Goofy asses. But yeah, I mean, the ban I like the banter. I like the smoky talk. Yeah, Caleb Plant said, listen, my name's Eminem. And... Ain't no big round soft dude with no discipline gonna do nothing with me. That's what he said. And I think that'd be a good marker, to be quite frank. Yeah, because David, um, um, David Bomavides, he took, he woofing, he got the woofle right. Yeah, about what you get. Oh, I'm gonna do you worse than Canelo. Let's see you do it then. That'd be a great marker. And I think that that would build narrative. If Bomavides gets plant put out there quicker, that does build narrative. Will he do it? I don't think so. I'll be so. I won't, to be honest, I reckon that fight probably goes distance. Truth be known, I think Plant be a little too slick for him. I just, I, I just do. I just don't think Bomavides. He has the pressure, but he's sloppy, and I think that's it. I'm not sure he digs hard enough. I think Plant might be able to get get through. I still back Benavides to win, especially after we know people aren't the same after Canelo has blowed their back out. Yeah, when Canelo blows your back out, you're ne not never the same. So. There's no doubt Plants had something taken away from him, but still, I reckon he's still cute enough to get through against Bomavides. I don't think Plants got a chance of winning, but it's one of them ones. Anyway, I hope the fight happens. In fact, the only fight I want to let me—I swear down—if if after May 21st, yeah, the only fights I want to see Bomavides in is a big fight, Plant, Charlo. Andre, that's it. I don't want to hear nothing about nothing else. Let's make that clear right now. I don't want to hear nothing about nothing else. I don't want to hear no excuses. I don't want to hear nothing. It must be a big name, big name, and if it's not, he will be known as forever as a big, scary, useless dude. Simple as that. I don't want to hear no more about it. My man had my man had how many fights? Thirty fights, fighting all bumps. Sick of it. Yeah, and I wouldn't mind if he was humble and said, oh, you know, I just love fighting bumps. He don't do that, though. He act like he, oh, Canelo ducking me in. Oh, all that kind of stuff. <laughs> it pisses me off. It pisses me off the way people are hyping him. His skills aren't even that good. He's sloppy. Canelo will get right in them cheeks for him. You best believe that as well. 